All right, so here we go in this uh, wonderful opening. He bought a carrier, so we got a G1 carrier buy. Uh, I really haven't played this too much. Uh, I, mean, I placed one in one of those uh, games I did last season just as a fun game, I think it was. Uh, and uh, the player just wasn't all that, all that great. And then I tried it once myself, and I don't think I did it well. I mean, I won, but I don't think I did it well. Uh, I think, you know, the... The big thing that that does right off the bat for me, when I see the carrier G1, that says KGF. I mean, KGF is kind of off the table because it'll be almost impossible to get to win that over and take over uh, the the battle over Africa. Although, I mean, it is a pretty expensive buy that then, uh, you know, is not units that he's sending to Russia, but... Uh, I, yeah, anyways, KGF. So we're going to go KGF. So that already rules out. I'm not going to bother with the sub by, you know, my little my play down here. Um, so we'll go, we'll start with our three ground in, in India. And then we come on up to this picture. And, you know, despite whatever this looks like, the only thing that's, you know, threatening here is a bomber and two fighters. So I'm good with just a carrier, a loaded carrier defending that. So I'm going to go, since we're way behind already, we need to get pressure up on Germany as quick as possible. So I'm going to go with a transport buy instead of a destroyer buy for UK so that we can start landing as many troops as possible as soon as possible. Um, and like I said, I haven't really thought about too much about what this means exactly other than the fact that, uh, you know, he's not in TJ, so I got that unit saved. Um I know, since I'm going to go KGF, you know, US, one, we're going to buy a carrier, two, potentially you can bring everything out here, three, we're chasing them in, and four, you know, probably US fours when we could actually have a, a real attempt at sinking whatever he's got going there. So we got to keep this, the Suez shut down, um, well, well, through Germany four, you know, on Germany, or through, through Germany three. Germany four, if he opens it up, is fine because you know presumably us4 we're going to hit him before he sneaks through but we don't really want this to get out and then he starts taking madagascar and holding this stuff and putting pressure on india and it, it gets ugly especially if he or the other thing can happen he can bring his j fleet in and get the j fleet into the mediterranean as well so a lot of ugly things can happen so we want to get that get that sunk so i'm planning on you know by us4 being able to try to take that out which means i need to fight for this through um, you know, through UK3, I need to be make sure that UK3, I'm still taking TJ so that G4, he can't sneak through it. So that's one of the things on my, on my mind. Now I just got to look at, okay, so now, well, he's going to have, you know, what do I need to prepare for here, right? So he'll have a carrier, a battleship, Two fighters. One, what's this guy do? One, two, three, four. So he can't hit anything. This bomber certainly could, though. One, two, three, four. So we got two fighters, a bomber, a battleship, and a transport that can hit um, down here. So that's like five units hitting. So and we can consolidate everything into TJ. Pull up so he can't blitz the tank. So, so yeah. You know, sometimes I would leave a unit here, but I think he's going to, uh, I'm going to pull out. He, he can move all six of these units and bring a transport over to bring seven, eight in. And I'll have my transport live. So we'll have that at least. And we'll have my, my bomber coming around, although... I'm going to land them there, but I can't land them there. We'll have two, well, one fighter. One fighter is going to be over here. So we'll have a fighter and a bomber. One, two, three, four. Yeah, he wouldn't be able to hit it there. So a fighter, a bomber, and maybe five units. So seven units we can attack with. And he's got six, and he's going to be landing seven and eight there. Or we'll have transport to so eh, it'll be tight it'll be close so uh, maybe he won't be able to stack that on g2 
but it's going to get ugly. And then, of course, you know, Japan's going to be putting pressure on. So here we go. All that said and done, let's get let's just get to work. Buy is going to be two infantry and artillery for down there. And like I said, we're going to go ahead and get a carrier and a transport going uh, for up in the Atlantic. Uh, Russia, if, if I can, I want to take my units and stack here so he can't transport and take it again. If I can take these two provinces, then his tanks can't get me. And he's got only just the one unit coming from here. So I should be okay. So I just need to guarantee that I take these two and put enough down here to stack that. Um, one, two, three, four. That works. So if we could potentially take it, that'll be a, a bonus. Although that is one, one of my units going up there that I'm not putting into here. What's that going to mean on TJ? I need to check that. So, yeah, so I did when I took it off. I think um, we're going to have to just let... Uh, let Russia take it with a stack move, hopefully, and just make sure we take these guys. Uh, because if I send my fighter to hit there, then I have to land him here. I can't land him in TJ to help defend the bombardment and the blitz and all the units. And uh, even with the, the fighter coming over, and I'd also be losing that infantry, so I would only have the 2 one, one and the U.S. fighter, I'd have to make sure I get a Russian fighter down there, which means they wouldn't be attacking along here. Um, I, guess I can't get the Russian fighter down there, so then the only other option was be to sacrifice my transport and land my transport in 34 carrying guys over there. But I can just, I feel like I can just stack move here, and although I won't be able to build in, into uh, um, Caucasus that turn, but I'll be able to build into Moscow still, and we'll reconsolidate on Russia 3. So... <laughs> That was a lot of talking. What it does mean, I am going to go ahead and do him, 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 him. And we're going to do fighter cruiser that way. We're going to be taking those guys. I guess I could use the bomber over here and then still be able to land my fighter there. Then maybe short one guy here. And that's a little iffy. Yeah, we're just going to go with it this way. We're going to continue. Whatever. I'm overthinking it, I think. I get into those modes where I tend to overthink things. Because, I mean, in our other game in this battle, it took all of this just to get by, and I just scraped by, so. All right, got all three hits in one. See, that's the nice thing with, with it. And no more subs to worry about, so we can take him out. Keep our cruiser. deal got the hit again it'd be nice if the cruiser lives so that he'd have to commit to it but most important thing is got the kill on the transport and the destroyer need to recheck this because I forgot I'm not doing my kill box so that'd be a nice easy target for the uh, 
the fighters. So let's see what this looks like if I bring that US fighter over. How are we doing defense wise then? So he'd have an infantry and artillery, a tank, what do we say? Three fighters, two fighters, a bomber and a battleship. And we're talking about having in here three infantry, an artillery, a tank, and a fighter. Um, it's iffy, you know, he, he could take that, I suppose. So this is what it, what it looks like. So it's slightly negative for him, you know, um, he's going to have air live, but he's not going to take it. But then he does have his, uh, fleet living there. So he'll be bringing more ground behind it or he'll have ground going into Egypt there. Boy, that's a bit. That's a bit sketchy, isn't it? Is there anything else we can do? All right, yeah, I don't like it because I think he can, he'll wipe everything there, stack. Egypt, and then I don't think I'll be able to, you know, maybe I could retake it, but then I'm not going to be able to do like I was talking about where I really need to hold that through three. So I think I'm going to have to sacrifice a transport, <clears throat> which at least we're building this transport up here early. And this isn't the KJF where I really need him to hang around so I can do stuff with him. So I'm actually going to take the AA gun and I'm going to drop it over here. And you know what? I'm not even going to do that. We're just going to go here and drop it. Um, I suppose he could go either way, can't he? You know what we will do? Decisions, decisions. So my whole thought process, if I put him here, right, he can still bombard. It doesn't block a bombardment, but he can't kill the transport if he bombards. And then maybe my transport can uh, sneak through, come back this way, and I don't know. Something happened over there. Eh. I'll stick with here. Cause I, want, I wanted to use one of these fighters to kill him so that he's less tempted to come after my carrier. But, all right. Again, overthinking, overthinking way too much. We're going to go that way. Here, Japan can't hit me, can he? Oh, he can, can't he? Go one, two, three, four. Yeah, he can. So we don't want that. Where else can we go to? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, let's go here, I think, instead. No reason to put him in an undue risk. We're already in a tough situation. No reason to throw him out to the water. All right. I'm not really sure about all this. Very, very, was very, very ishy washy on this round.